After 33 years at the University of Cincinnati, head men's track and field coach Bill Schneer is hanging up his spikes. Considering the lives he has touched and influenced across his tenure in red and black, there is no question it has been a great run. Coach Schneer attended Capital University in Columbus, where he played baseball for two years before switching to track and field. The decision worked out as he set school records in the outdoor 800 meters and was a member of the record-setting outdoor 4x800 meters relay team. Both remain Capital records today. He earned a master's degree from Wright State University and Indiana University and in 1987 earned a doctorate in human performance from Indiana. Schneer began his career at Trotwood Madison High School before spending five years as an assistant coach at IU. Bill Schneer came to UC in 1980 to coach track and field and cross country. Talk about a historic hire. He oversaw the formation of the UC women's track and field and cross country programs. Overall, his teams have won 12 conference team titles and 164 individual or relay titles. 47 of UC's 53 school records have been set during Bill's time at UC. 25 student athletes have qualified for the NCAA National Championships. 10 became All-Americans and David Payne and Mary Weinberg each won Olympic medals. No matter which conference UC was in over the years, Bill was always the best coach. Coach of the year 15 times and Conference USA's Coach of the Decade in both cross country and track and field. But Bill always knew more was at stake than who hit the tape first. Academics and character have been cornerstones of his program. 19 members of his team have been honored as UC's top male or female senior student athlete. Tonight we honor the greatest track and field coach in University of Cincinnati history, Dr. Bill Schneer. Really, you can't just put it into words perfectly because he's been pretty much the face of track and field for you know over 30 years. But um, I would say he's been everything to the program. Honestly, uh, he's been you know more than just a leader. You know, he's been uh, like a father figure to to pretty much everybody. You know, he's he's been somebody who you can who you can trust, you can talk to, confide in, and you know it also holds you accountable and. and um, I think that's what people appreciate about him, he's, you know, he's, he's that kind of guy. I think his legacy is, you know, that you have to work hard and that, that you have to show up every day and, uh, you know, do your job and that you're not as important as, uh, or more important than other people are. I, I really, that was one of the reasons why I decided to come here, um, because I watched Bill, uh, how he interacted with people while I was down here for my one day visit and I was very impressed by how he didn't really distinguish between important people and not important people. To him they were all people and if they needed help then he was going to get up from his desk and go help them. Bill is very funny and one thing that if you know Bill you know that he's honest and sometimes brutally honest and that's what I kind of like about him. I like the fact that he won't sugarcoat anything. He will tell you exactly like it is and I can remember with some of my runs and doing some of my things, he'll say, Mary, you just didn't have it. And I'm like, Bill! But you know, it really helped me to see like, you know what, he's telling me the truth, I didn't have it that day. So it just pushed me to go forth and work even harder for the next race. And so that's what I admire most about him. And I really will miss that much. Coach Nair has brought balance. He's brought um, just a sense of pride and to be a Bearcat track and field athlete. Um, he's taken it um, from kind of like a program that no one really knew about to, uh, you know, one of the tops in Conference USA and, and the Big East. And um, he's done an amazing job. I mean, he teaches so many great principles that all of, of his young men and women that he's coached over the years have, have taken with them later in life. And so it, he's, a, he's a life skills man, not just on the track, but, but also for, for life skills. Coach Neer's influence in my life is really so much deeper than just track and field and coaching. He has really unwaveringly served as an, as an example of how to be a father, how to be a husband, you know, how to be a good person, and how to be a man of God. Um, I'm very, very fortunate and blessed to have had this time under him as an athlete and then alongside him as a coach. I thank you, Bill.